Hi everyone, my name is Anna Maria and you're very welcome to my channel. Today I want to tell you about my lovely short trip to a beautiful, beautiful town called Cove in County Cork. On a beautiful Sunday day I decided that I need to get out of Dublin because I'm really tired of seeing the same things in the same places. So I did decide to go on a road trip towards Cove. It was a beautiful trip and from my place, like from where I'm staying, it was about two hours and a half roughly to get to Cove and it's a beautiful town located in the south of Ireland in County Cork. I'm sure that you can get there by train as well, it's not necessary to drive, so in case you don't have a car you can just book yourself a train ticket and get there. I'm sure that even if you don't have a car you won't use that car in that little town because you can walk in there because the town is pretty small itself, so a beautiful train trip would be great as well, I'm sure about it. So this is Cove. Let me tell you a little bit about how to pronounce this town correctly. So you can see that it's written as C-O-B-H and of course I was a little bit confused at the, mo at the beginning and I wasn't sure how to pronounce it correctly but then I had to do a bit of research and I found out that B-H is pronounced as V, as V in Irish language. So this town is pronounced as cove, as in drove, for example. So it's something very, very good to know. Keep in mind that when you see BH, this group of letters BH, it is pronounced as V in Irish language. Cove is such a beautiful, nice town and there are people who also speak the Irish language in there and the atmosphere, it is such an authentic atmosphere because all the houses are so beautiful, they are painted in different colors and there is that nice Irish atmosphere. And to be honest, at some point I actually felt that Cove is slightly similar to Italy, you know, like walking on a coast in Italy felt similar to walking in Cove as well. Also there was cool live music that was authentic Irish music and it is great to support people who do music on the streets because they are doing something nice for us, they make us feel better, so if you have a few extra coins you can always give them some extra coins. Cove is also very popular for its Titanic experience. So Titanic made its last stop in Cove before it sank. And of course there is like a little museum that you can go to and you can get this Titanic experience. Unfortunately I did not get it because my trip unfortunately was very rushed, you know, and you know I decided that it was very sunny and lovely outside and I wanted to walk around, I wanted to see the town, but if you are very interested in history you can of course get that Titanic experience. I'm sure you can book everything online, you can find all the tickets and all the prices online line as well. So 
so guys lovely town and uh, very very nice and very beautiful especially on a sunny day and it's so refreshing because like some nice breeze is coming from from the ocean i suppose it is so yeah and uh yeah i'm just wondering how this little town looks and feels when it's cold outside but i suppose yeah I don't know if I would risk to come over when it's cold outside, but now when it's sunny, it's absolutely amazing, stunning, beautiful, and I see people having ice cream, so <laughs> I might go get myself some ice cream as well. So there is a nice beautiful church that you will see straight away when you get into the town so when you are at that church you can look at the whole town and then you can see an island in there so that island is called the spike island and it used to be a prison there are ferries that can bring you to that island as well so a ticket for an adult is 22 euro and a ticket for a student is about 11 euro. You can google everything, you can book the tickets online if you want to, but I just wanted to tell you the rough price of the ferry to the island. August Pines. Bonjour, je suis Annie Moore. Mon titre de... Hello, I am Annie Moore. My claim to fame is that I was the first immigrant to be processed on Ellis Island, New York, on the morning the immigrant inspection station opened on the 1st of January, 1892. I was born and raised in Cork City until the age of 17 when I departed from this port. But overall, I absolutely did enjoy my walk into Cove. It was so nice, so beautiful, lovely, friendly people. And everyone had such a good mood because it was sunny and lovely and beautiful. And it was absolutely, absolutely enjoyable. And if you have a chance to get there, I would strongly recommend you to go there. And also, you can take that Instagram famous photo in Cove cove as well so i'm just gonna leave a few of those photos here on the screen so you can see them and you know i did absolutely enjoy taking those photos and the parks and absolutely everything around me so there are lovely stairs you can go up there look how nice it's like a little tiny italy actually it really reminds me of pozzoli in italy so beautiful and smells this smell of the sea actually of the ocean absolutely absolutely amazing So after visiting Cove, I decided that on my way to work, I'd go to Fora House and Gardens. So here is Cove, then Fora Island, and then Quark City. And it is like a big, big, big park, and there are so many things to do in there, and it's a very nice, quiet park as well. In there you can get to a zoo as well, you can walk around, you can have a picnic, so I think that on a lovely, beautiful, sunny day, you can just go and spend the entire day in Fora Park and Gardens, because it's absolutely beautiful, very relaxing. You can find places where there are loads of people if you want some bars, or if you want, you can find some places with without people and have a bit more intimacy for yourself and I'm sure that if you have a day off and if you have children for example and if you want to relax and spend some time with them or some time with your family or friends I would strongly recommend going to Fora House and Gardens. Thank you. 
Also, the parking is only 3 euro in there. You can pay cash, you can also pay by card, which is very handy, but it's absolutely worth paying those 3 euro because you get that nice, beautiful experience. And then I ended up in Quark City. So I got really hungry and I decided to go to Quark City to get some food. So I had a bit of a walk around. I had a look at the city. The city is actually much smaller than Dublin. It was very quiet. I was surprised to see that Quark is so quiet. I suppose that maybe everyone from Quark decided to get out of the city and go to the nature, go to the ocean. But it was very quiet, actually. I absolutely did not expect it to be so quiet. But it was very enjoyable and I got myself uh, some lunch slash dinner and I did absolutely enjoy walking in Quark. I think that my trip was pretty rushed so next time if I'm going to County Quark I definitely like to book maybe an Airbnb or a hotel and spend at least two days in County Quark and I think that even two days are not enough <laughs> to see County Quark but if you want to get away somewhere I would suggest trying County Quark because it's absolutely beautiful and very very nice. Thanks a lot for watching again, please make sure to give this video a like, to support me with a comment, to subscribe to my channel as well, and share my channel with other people, because my goal is to get 10,000 subscribers, and then I'll be able to buy myself a new laptop. I can't wait for a new laptop, because I want to do the editing much faster. Thanks again for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video.